فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير Regarding the sin of backbiting you and I need to know that backbiting has been interpreted in the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Many of us when we are told brother stop backbiting what's the first thing we say but it's true isn't it we say but it's true you say you know the sister was so bad she was like this she was talking like this she was arrogant she, we're talking about a sister someone says brother stop backbiting but it's true what i'm saying is true well i want to tell you muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says if it is true then that is backbiting because if it is a lie then it goes under the term slander one is ghiba ghiba means backbiting and one is buhtan buhtan means fabrication of a lie it's a lie and it's backbiting on top of that so it makes it a slander so what is the sin of backbiting the hadith says dhikruka akhaka bima yakrah to mention about your brother or your sister that which he or she would dislike if they were there so i'm talking behind someone's back about something they would not like if they were there that is ghiba so the sahaba radiyallahu anhum asked o messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam what if what we are saying is true so he said if what you are saying is true then that is backbiting and if what you are saying is false then that is buhtan it is even worse so allah says wala yaghtab ba'dukum ba'da don't backbite each other don't talk bad about each other i want to present a challenge to all of you this morning what is the challenge when you talk about others behind their backs only say nice things are you ready for that challenge very few people said yes did you hear that When you talk behind the backs of your mother-in-law only say nice things. Okay? Nobody said yes. Did you hear that? Allah <laughs> mustaan. Astaghfirullah. When you talk behind anyone's back only say good things. Wallahi your spirituality will increase. Your closeness to Allah will increase. Someone says the sister say yeah mashallah she's so good alhamdulillah you know i've only known well you don't have to lie to say i've only known good things about her but you can say mashallah she has a lot of good qualities alhamdulillah you know she's a really good person and alhamdulillah yes if someone wants to do business with someone or get married to someone or engage in a deal with someone then the issue of backbiting drops it drops so someone wants to marry someone and they say please tell us how is this person no very good mashallah and you know that they are drunkards they are on drugs they are liars they have illegitimate children for example you have to say look my brother this is only amana between us i have to say it because i have been requested it's not backbiting why because this is bearing witness it's like when you go to the court and the judge tells you right What did this man do? You say, "Look, I know he stole, but I can't say it because it'll be backbiting." Like, come on. Or people don't want to report to the police because they say, "If I go to the police, I'm reporting behind his back, isn't it?" I don't need. That's not wrong. You need to know the limits of it. To get your right, you're allowed to say anything. لا يحب الله الجهر بالسوء من القول إلا من ظلم. Allah says, Allah does not like that you speak bad. except if you are oppressed yourself you stole my money i need to tell people hey this man stole my money because i want the money back number one and i don't want others to be bitten with the same man that's not backbiting you need to know this but i just go out general and sundry to everyone and i start saying things this is a bad man he steals people's money no he doesn't steal people's money he had a problem with me and he didn't pay me my money or he stole my money etc you explain exactly what it was your side it's up to them to go to him and get his side before they deal with him so for example someone wants to marry a person they say look we want to get married here what do you know of the person and you say well i i'm letting you know amana amana that this person has a weakness of drugs 
Wallahi, in fact, if you lie about that and you know it, you are sinful. Because you are dooming someone else's daughter. Imagine your daughter, your sister, or you, if you're not married, you want to marry someone and you ask people who know that he's on drugs, how is this man? And they say, very good man. And they know. That's a major sin. That's called bearing false witness. That's called shahada to zur. The Prophet ﷺ has warned about bearing false witness. You are being asked to bear witness about someone. You are not being asked to backbite about them. There's a difference between the two. There is a need for you to get up and to say things. Someone says, look, I'm about to do a million dollar deal with this man. He is your neighbor. What do you have to say? Is he a decent man that I can do the deal with? Either you say, don't do the deal and you stop there. Or you say, don't do the deal because we have, five people have had a problem. He's taken their money. Jazakallah khair. You will be rewarded for having saved me from that. That's not backbiting. Remember this. That is bearing witness. So don't lie and don't bear false witness. Don't say he's a good man. And don't be shy. Well, I know of some cases where I have told people, why did you say that he was a good boy when you knew he wasn't a good boy? You know what they said? They said, well, we thought maybe Allah will give him a good wife. How can you say that? If that was your daughter, you are dooming them to living with a guy who has bad habits and qualities that you know about. You can say the guy was on drugs. That's the last we know. He might have quit. You can find out. It's up to them to go to others and to ask again and again. Sometimes they might be satisfied. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the understanding between the two here. So this is the difference between bearing witness about someone and, the diff and backbiting about them. Backbiting, I have no purpose. I'm just talking bad about them. There's nothing. I'm, there's no achievement. I just want to do them down in the eyes of the people. So I stand up in the public or I mention to people, hey, you know, this person is like that and like this. So much so that even if you speak about their qualities behind them, it's called backbiting. You know, that sister, she's a bit fat. Huh? That's backbiting. Did you know that? Did you know that? It's serious. It is very serious. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us.